on the boy reaction. Hey guys, other boy reactions here. All right, so today we're going to be watching the pilot episode of the originals um the original season one episode one always and forever if you guys are enjoying my videos please like comment and subscribe and if you'd like full reactions and early reactions please check out my patreon by going to the link down below um okay so i heard that this is pretty much the same episode as episode um 420 of the vampire diaries um with the exception of a few scenes, so I'd like to see um, what those scenes are, what the differences are. Um, maybe we'll get some new important information that wasn't in the other episode. Um, but yeah, let's check it out. <laughs> For people who have never heard we of them. We fled Europe and survived the sea. They have to tell their whole you story. rather I arrive hungry on the shores of our new homeland. In class, your manners are, as always, without equal. Fled Europe? Sir, would you be so good as to tell us where it is that we have landed? The French colony of Louisiana. Nice. Off the shores of a town they've named New Orleans. Well, thank you so much. And not three years later, he stuck a silver dagger in my chest. <gasps> oh my god, the writing is so... Years. Do you know why? Because <laughs> I had the audacity <laughs> to try and live my life on my own without him. Oh. Oh my god, and all those backstories. So whatever's going on between Marcel and the witches, <laughs> it's dire enough that they risk bringing an original back to town. Well, the witches have lured him here, I'd like to know why. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Well, okay, it's just the first episode. <laughs> they have to get all that information out of the way. <laughs> oh my god. Ew. Damn. Damn. I'm Elijah. You heard of me? Yes. So why don't you tell me what business your family has with my brother? Father, the child she's carrying is your brother, Klaus. It's impossible. Nothing's impossible. Especially not when it comes to your brother. Think about it. They call him the hybrid, right? Bring her out! to do so and for better or worse we were happy and is however until one night our youngest brother was killed by our village's greatest threat because of clouds <laughs> men that could transform themselves into wolves during a full moon our family was devastated none more than Niklaus Desperate to protect the rest of us, our father. She knew he was a hybrid. Wasn't activated until you take a life. Niklas was the result of an indiscretion our mother had hidden from us all. An affair with a werewolf like yourself. Infuriated by this betrayal, my father forced our mother to cast a spell that would suppress Klaus's werewolf side, denying him any connection with his truth. So he forced her. Elijah! Elijah! Hold him down! Brother! Please don't let them do this to me! Hmm. Evening, Elijah. Niklaus. What an entirely unwelcome surprise. And what an entirely unsurprising welcome. Come with me. I'm not going anywhere until I find out who's conspiring against me. Nobody's asking her what she wants. <laughs> she doesn't get a choice. <sighs> this is us. The original family. And we remain together always and forever. I am asking you to stay here. I will help you and I will stand by you. I will be your brother. We will build a home here together. 
So save this girl. Save your child. You Actually, you ran from it. I saw it through. Look around. Vampires rule this city now. I got rid of the werewolves. I even found a way to shut down the witches. The blood never stops flowing and the party never ends. And the party you never ends. <laughs> you want to stay a while? Great. What's mine is yours, but it is mine. My home, my family, my rules. <laughs> and if someone breaks, lashing out in blind rage, you know the last time I saw him like this, it lasted 200 years. Then leave him to his temper tantrum and come home. With any luck, this misadventure will allow us a reprieve from all of his insanity. He was so close. When he heard the baby's heartbeat, I could see it in his eyes. He, he wanted, you know, he could almost taste happiness. And now his temper has destroyed. You and your brother got cocky, coming to my town like you own the place. Oh, we did own the place <laughs> once. We were all quite happy here, as I recall. Although we could never control those pesky witches at the French Quarter. How are you doing? Right. <sighs> Brother asked me the same question. I gave him the same answer. It's my business. Hmm. Everything in the quarter is my business. Klaus comes into town all nice and friendly. Then he starts looking down his nose at what I've done, like it's some cheap knockoff of one of his dumb paintings. <laughs> then he gets pissed off <laughs> like oh a little bitch. Say it again. I will not let go. I will never let go. <laughs> Even if I have to spend eternity saving you from your own stubborn, petulant, vile self. Yeah. If I have to beat you as father used to beat you to remind you of your own humanity. Oh, fuck. To care about anything. Ah! Oh. 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 I should have struck him He's down. And I made a promise to you. Always. Forever. Family above all. Oh my god. There's no way I could have skipped this episode just for that one fucking scene. <laughs> just for him saying that. We can never waver from the power of that bond, even when it is tested. The bond nourishes us, it gives us strength. Without that power, we are nothing. This town was my home once, and in my absence, Marcel has got everything I ever wanted. Power. The unconditional love of family. Mm. Tell Sophie Devereaux we have a deal. So I'm curious, in all this time, has anyone asked you how you feel? Exactly! Uh, having a miracle baby with a psychotic one night stand. Nobody has asked her. About being a mother. Right, do you even want this? And even if she does, she may not want to I... raise it with them. I was abandoned when I was born, and my adoptive parents kicked me out the second Is he involved with her? Or is she a slave? I assume it's all quiet out there. The witches know better than to use magic. They know they can sense it when they do. Oh, that's how he knows. What about the old ones? They're dangerous and I don't want them to hurt you. Oh. The originals. Dagger him. Davina. Davina. Oh my god. Is powerful. No! Oh my god! Fuck you! In the first fucking episode? Forgive me. Jesus! There is no power in love. God, oh my God! Mercy makes you weak. <laughs> Jesus! Family makes you weak. Oh my God! And if I am going to win this war, I have to do it alone. Oh my God! First of all, I don't know why some people told me that I should skip this episode. There was a lot of information that I would never have known especially that last scene um fucking klaus uh so frustrating but i mean he's staying true to his character i mean it's gonna take him a long ass time to change 
maybe once he has this baby. Um, I'm glad Elijah at least asked Haley what, you know, how she felt about everything. I mean, she still doesn't get a choice, so it doesn't really matter <laughs> what she wants. <laughs> Poor thing. I feel bad for her. It's like, even if she does want the baby, um, I know for a fact she doesn't want to raise it with Klaus or with any of these people being held captive. Um, there was a lot of fucking um, backstory um, exposition, like all this ex explanatory writing. Um, but it had to be done for people who have never heard of these people, who's never seen the Vampire Diaries, but it was so much. Um, <laughs> like even lines that like Rebecca said, um, she said something like, um, I already know that three years ago Klaus daggered me and <laughs> like it's all this stuff that we already knew. Um, but even if we didn't, like if I had seen this for the first time, it still would have been, that's hard to watch because um, they have to cram, you know, their whole history into the first episode to get people hooked. Um, and it's like, you know, people don't know who they are. That's, I mean, that's a tough job to do, whoever had to write that. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to do that. Um, but we got the first episode out of the way. There was still stuff that was interesting. Um, like the stuff I hadn't seen, uh, like the, the fight between Klaus and Elijah and then when Elijah was on the ground and he said, which was probably the best thing about the episode, when he said, um, when father first struck you or when, when father first hit you, I should have struck him dead. Something like that. Um, and he feels like he failed his younger brother. I mean, he's the oldest, right? Um, or older. So we've never heard him say anything like that. Um, never really heard him even reference that much about the father. Um, usually it's Klaus and Rebecca complaining about the father. So it was interesting to see and hear Elijah's point of view. I don't know what they're going to do now because... Elijah was the most interesting thing about this episode. He was this episode. Um, and Klaus wasn't even, like, the main character, which was interesting. But now he is. I think that's a mistake. I think it's a mistake to get rid of Elijah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he'll come back eventually, but... Um, this early on to get rid of Elijah? Like, the only one who, like, has a conscience? Now we're left with Klaus and Marcel and his gang, and... It's like villain versus villain. Um, we do have the witches. We have Sophie. We have Haley. Now we have Davina. Who the fuck is that? Apparently she's really powerful. Um, it doesn't look like she's being held against her will. So I guess she and uh, Marcel are in love. So that's why um, the witches obey Marcel and they can't touch him. Um, why would Davina be okay with her own people not being able to do magic? I mean, I guess, why can't she just tell them you can't use magic against the vampires and against Marcel and that's it? Why, but like, why prevent them from doing magic altogether? I guess it's just, um, insurance that they won't, you know, start an uprising, a rebellion. Um, but I mean, she's kind of a fucking traitor. <laughs> I mean, you're pretty, but <laughs> some someone's gonna have to take you down if um if you keep this up. But he said, Marcel said that the even the originals don't stand a chance against Davina. So I don't know who she is. Why is she so powerful? Very interesting. Just how powerful is she? Wonder if she's one of those witches that is so powerful that she can slow her aging down, like we saw in the Vampire Diaries with that other witch who you know, knew um, the Salvatore brothers back in the 20s or something. I feel like if I had never seen these characters in the Vampire Diaries, I don't think I would be... I don't think it's a compelling story. I mean, it is, like, 
the concept the concept of them this old ass family who's from you know a thousand years ago that's interesting but from this first episode um it's not like oh i need to know who they are it just doesn't have that 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 thing because there's not even like it's the vampire diaries it, it at least had the romance factor this doesn't even have that yet I mean, it probably will, but, like, I feel like you need to have at least that in the first episode. Um, like, it's missing something. The, the the thing I liked the most was Elijah. Elijah and and the way he looked out for Haley, and then they exchanged a couple glances there. I was like, oh, well, maybe they'll get together. Even though she's having Klaus as a baby, that doesn't mean she has to be with Klaus. Um... And in the way he said, you know, I'll protect you forever, and then he gets stabbed. But um, but at least I saw something there. Like, I don't know. I just really like Elijah, and I like how he he cares about something, whereas Klaus doesn't really care about anything. Like he said, um, except power. I mean, that's boring. Elijah is this immortal being, and he's killed. He's lived forever, but he still cares about something. He cares about having a family, rebuilding this family that they never got a chance to have because their dad was a dick, like Haley said. Um, oh, another thing that w was news to me was that Michael made Esther perform that spell to suppress um, Klaus's werewolf side. So everyone's been telling me, oh you know, um, Esther's awful because she suppressed his werewolf side. Um, she was forced to. I mean, she was, she's a victim too. I mean, of her husband, they were all victims of Michael. So, I mean, that clarified a lot of things. To me. I mean, Esther did what she was told. I mean, it was a different time, um, where women probably just had to do what their husbands told them to do, especially in the, if they're Vikings. Um, Michael ruled with an iron fist. And I bet you Esther probably thought, you know, this is for the best because, you know, I'm protecting my son. And maybe, maybe she even thought um, Michael would hate him even less. Um, a little bit, like just a little bit. I don't know what she thought, but I just, if he made, the fact that Elijah said, my father made her, that is totally different than what people have been telling me. Like, like she was like, I'm going to suppress my son's, you know, werewolf side because I'm a bad person. Like, I don't know. It was just, it's just not what I was expecting. Um, it's also weird about Haley, how not only does she not have a choice, but like, she's kind of just being used to you know, have this baby so that um, the originals can have a family again and, and Klaus can um, be loved and have something to love. And it's like, it's like not even about her. She's just like this thing, this vessel that, <laughs> that you know, um, is being used to repair this broken family. Um, I'm sure eventually it's going to work out, but like, as of now, like, I feel bad for her because she's trapped. I mean, who knows what kind of... I don't even know who she was. Hopefully they give us a backstory on her, too. Because I know, like, we know that, like, yeah, she was an orphan. She didn't know her parents. But, like, what was she doing with her life up until now? We know that she was helping Tyler for a little bit. Um, you know, trying to unbond the, uh, the hybrids, right? But, like... Who was she? What does she want out of life other than to find her family, which is not going to happen because they're dead? Um, yeah, so the most interesting characters to me are Elijah, who's now daggered, and Haley. Sophie Ann, I mean, I mean, Sophie Ann. That was Jane Ann, right? Uh, Sophie is interesting because she's a witch, but I still don't know anything about her either. Um, we've only seen her with this anger and because her sister just died, but like, I don't really know who she is either. Who was she before that? But yeah, um, Elijah was my favorite in this. He showed the most range of his character and he showed strength, he showed vulnerability, um, he showed loyalty. I mean, he's gonna protect 
he was planning to protect Haley. Um, he's trying to rebuild his family. He's trying to get his brother back. And um, he's doing this for his brother. Um, and then his brother stabs him. He's such a ugh, fucking class. He's such a fucking asshole. Um, I better see some improvement with him because... I don't know. This is going to be a hard show to watch. But anyway, that was the originals, always and forever. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like full reactions and early reactions, please check out my Patreon by going to the link down below. All right, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you next time. Bye. Can't tell you love that.